Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike. We are back with the second video on our very <laughs> unhappy ML320. That's supposed to be a frowny face. Did not work out like I thought. Anyway, as you can see, it is very cold out here. We've had some snow in Tulsa town. So what I want to do is pick up the video from the point where we drove this POS back home. We made it, but we were worried about a head gasket. We were worried about the lack of oil. We were worried about the tailgate rattling like crazy. And we were worried about basically making it home alive. So let's pick up the video. We made it home alive and we're going to look for some possible solutions to all of those pending problems. Take a look at this. That is a backbone to something that got dragged in here and eaten. Please be dead, please be dead. Please. Oh, I smashed his brain. Yeah, we got rain. Hunt for the second vehicle has taken us to. <laughs> what are you gonna say? It's just too much for me to screw out. What do you think about this car, Mike? Mikey likes. You like it? Mikey likes. I'm in the car. It is now day two of our ownership of this lovely beast of an SUV. And I'm kind of worried about the oil. So what I want to do is see how much of the oil remains and then we're going to do a head gasket test and see if that is the problem. One, because this looks really, really dirty. Like there could be oil in there. And I just want to find out where the oil happens to be going. So let's, uh, let's do this very quickly. All right, this is a... Remember, we put five can... Oh. Well, now we have oil. We have... <laughs> Maybe this isn't a head gasket issue. Because we have all kinds of oil now. We almost have too much. Where did that come from? Uh, and if I could look in here, I could see what color the... the uh, I can't even look. How can I do this? I just want to look in here without seeing. <laughs> I'm too short. I'm too short. All right, let's just test it for a head gasket leak. We're just going to say the heck with it. And we're going to test it. Very quickly, let's see if we can quiet this down a little bit. Holy moly. that do anything? Well, that helped a little bit. Not much. Fill it up to the line. Cap it off. There we go. Attach the top. Put it on top and then suck it through. Let's see what happens. That's a good sign. What's not a good sign is a little bit of smoke right through here. Can you see? Can you see the little puffs of smoke? From right here. There it is right there. So I gotta get in here and kinda see what's going on. So maybe we don't have a head gasket leak, so maybe the car is gonna love me. We are almost at normal operating temperature and we have nothing changing color, which is huge. 
So I don't think we have a head gasket leak. I think we have some lubrication issues. Thank you for that. And I think we have a leak from a valve cover gasket and this is horrible right through here. This just turns off. But it looks to me like the leak, here we go, is right there. See that? That's smoke. There's smoke in them there valve gaskets. So we need a, a, a valve gasket. I think that's the only problem, which is huge. But we definitely, definitely need some power steering fluid to fill that little dude up right there. Absolutely. Okay, we're just waiting for the uh, car to heat up a little more. I'm gonna say it doesn't have a head gasket at all, but I wanna see, look, I have a complete set of books with this car, which is huge. I mean, everything is in here. The next maintenance. Oh, look at all of the parts that they, oh, this is it, Will. Here we go, there's some stickers, see? Look at this. Oh, this car came from Indianapolis. Uh, uh, 50,000 miles. I hope it's not rusty underneath. Um, and I think even like right here, if you can see this, I think this is my code. Come out. Here we go, this is it. This is the radio code. All right, so what is it? 44411. Here we go, four, 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 one, one. Okay. And I have a radio. I got a radio, look at that. And I think there's CDs in there. Let's see. Oh, you don't want to, you don't want to eject? Here we go. What do I have? I got a CD. Oh, it's the navigation. Oh, oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Air conditioner off because it is cold. The air AC is cold. We have a radio. We have the code. We have booklets with receipts. We're really getting places. Okay, so now we got to run to the dealer and get some uh, power steering fluid and I want to see if I can find a valve cover gasket. So we will be back and much happier. I am so happy now. This is so much better now knowing, knowing I do not have a head gasket issue. All right, we're back and believe it or not, for the first time, I was able to get valve cover gaskets in stock in a store near me. So that was the first time. I also have power steering European edition fluid um, with stop leak. And so we're going to test this. I couldn't get any of the Mercedes stuff. The dealer's closed. We're going to try this for the first time and see how it does. Okay. So let's just kind of put this right here. I want to start the car, pour this in and see if it fixes everything. Then we'll let the engine cool off. I'll remove everything I need to remove. Ooh. <sighs> I don't like removing these little rubber hoses that attach to the valve cover because they always break. But you have to. And then you get to order new ones. So this, I hope this does not get real expensive. Remember, we're just trying to flip this and make a couple of dollars, okay? Let's see if we can get it to start and see if we can solve the power steering whine. She's a whiny little girl. That's the wine. I don't like the chatter. I really don't like the chatter either. So hopefully we don't have any oil delivery issues. Can you hear it? I can. We definitely have fluid now. Ah! Okay. Let's see if we fix something. 
Well, it's not as loud as it was. Hopefully we'll get all the fluid kind of going through there. I don't see any obvious signs of a power steering leak. It's just this chatter is bad. This chatter is really bad. So, yay! Let's move on to step two. All right, one of the ways I evaluate how a vehicle has been taken care of <laughs> is how things come apart, all right? This behind your oil fill, you have an electrical connector and then there's six little plugs that go in uh, to here. And the coils seem to be original. Unfortunately, on the little plugs, all of the, they have a little connector right here that kind of holds them on. These have all been broken off. So whoever last serviced this particular side of the engine, they didn't do a really good job of being nice. All, well, okay, that one was kind of on, but they didn't do a good job of that. Okay, so we'll put this over here. This has to come off, this tube right here and this tube right here. And as you can see, they're hard as a rock which is oh so much fun. So, ay ay ay. Anyway, we'll get the coils off. Two spark plugs per cylinder, yay. Um, and then we will see what lies beneath. I'm hoping, I'm hoping the oil tube, if this has one like on the other cars, can be simply cleaned and, uh, uh, that's been on there for a while, cleaned and then reused. So, okay, this is a T25 or T27 to take these off. We'll get these loose. We'll get them off and then we will show you <laughs> the removal procedure. This is the moment of truth. Well, this is where we take the valve cover gasket off. So I have all of these little Torx bolts out, okay? Um, I have kind of lubricated where these very plasticky, <laughs> rubbery Biddle Brits actually go and I don't want to break them. I really don't. So hopefully what I have done will prevent this. I sprayed them liberally and literally with, oh my gosh, silicone, WD-40, all kinds of good stuff. No, I just use silicone. This one I think may survive. Let's just see what happens. Come on, little girl. There you go, come on. Here it is. Okay, we got it off. This is gonna be a first. Oh, we did it. Okay, those are gone. Now, oh, come on, here we go. Here we go. Just let go. Here it is. Come on. Dead gum it. Just let go. You are a hair away. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. Let go. We did it. <sighs> that doesn't look bad at all. I was expecting this oil to have been there for like forever. This is still pliable. Well, look at here. Okay, this has a little chunk out of it. Can you see? I think the oil was disappearing through here. Because if you put this, this is how it goes on the car. This is where the oil leak was, and there's a chunk, a chunk coming out right there. So I think we fixed it. 
I think it's going to be okay. I think some of the oil passages could be a little cleared a little bit. I think it comes up through here and then out through the rocker arms. But we're going to go ahead and put this on. We're going to put some Marvel Mystery Oil in this to kind of clean it up. And I think it's going to be fine. I hope that it is going to be fine. So if I can do this without the gasket falling off, I will be in great shape. All right, we have everything back together. We have removed a spark plug just to kind of show you what's going on. If we can get the camera to focus. <laughs> That's a crazy background. Here we go. Focus. There it is. It is not the cleanest. It is not in the best shape, so I may end up replacing these depending on how she does, but it's an NGK, so that's good. Is that a little better? Now you can see just how bad it is. There is still a tip, but these have been in here for a long, long, long time. So I'm probably going to replace them, but we have almost everything back together. So we'll put this back in. That's bad, that's really bad. And we'll give the car a start, how about that? Do we screw anything up? I hope not. Oh, man, it's dirty in here. Ugh. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, you know what? Ah, we didn't put the fuel. F <laughs> that was great. Now we have fuel everywhere. That was brilliant, Mike. Oh my gosh. Now we can't start it for a while because I don't want to burn everything down. That was brilliant. I think it sounds better. I don't like that. I'm hoping that click clears up. We're gonna take it for a little Italian tune-up and hopefully that'll do that. But we don't have any leaks. Which is fantastic. So, work continues tomorrow. We're back with day three. It is a sunny day and I thought we put so much oil into this thing. Well, first of all, I hate how low this is. I gotta get some struts. Um, but we put so much oil into this thing. It's like having a fresh oil change, I think. Um, there's nothing coming out of the bottom, which is good. I don't know why the engine had burned off so much oil, but I thought, let me just kind of check the fuel, the uh, oil filter. And so we kind of have this coming off and this is what we found. This is, this has been on there for a long, long time. Look at that. That is perhaps even clogged, which might be one of the problems that we're having with oil delivery, okay? This, I think this car may have been abused a little bit. It may be a little more than a little bit, but this is horrible. Okay, so we are gonna change the filter. We have the Marvel Mystery Oil already in our mostly new oil. And we're going to uh, give it a start after we put in the new filter. So let me get this all cleaned up. We'll put the new filter in, check the oil level, give her a start, see if she's sounding good. And if she is, then we're going to start the cleaning process. I'm not spending a whole bunch of time on everything. I'm not going to detail the carpets or detail the car. I'm going to give it a quick wipe down and just kind of see what we've got. We'll wash the outsides, clean the headlights, and just kind of see where we stand. But... Um, I am pleased with the progress. I gotta say that. Let's see how we did. All right, let's just give her a quick little start. Hopefully the oil will now reach the engine. <laughs> and it'll be perfect. All I need to do, oh, I have the keys in here. Okay, good. Well, that's unfortunate. What is that? You ran last night.
Come on, oil. All right. I think it sounds better. Not so click clack. We could do, we could bleed the valves and that's you rev it for 25 to 3,000 um, for like 10 minutes and then it goes away. You could drive it like that. Well, it's supposed to be not under load, so I guess you can't drive it, but the engine isn't shaking or anything, so that's good. We've tested for a head gasket leak, so that's good. We're just gonna let it rev for a little bit and see what happens. All right, we have read the codes and we cleared the codes first because they had like 6,247. Lola, thank you so much for your appearance in this video. Thank you, mama. You have to get out now. Good girl, go play with Benzo. Anyway, we had one for the oil uh, quality. It was weird, it was like a P1999 oil quality or oil sensor issue. We don't have that anymore. Lola, stop, just go, thank you. What we have, we have three ESP electronic stability control faults, one navigation and one telematic. So let's kind of go into the electronic stability and see what's happening. This is a great time for a helicopter to come by. And it's really low. We'll read the codes. There he goes. Another life being saved. Okay, so we have, um, these are all online and stored. Steering angle sensor has not been initialized. The voltage of terminal 30 is too low. And then N49 steering angle sensor zero point variation. We will escape that. And the telematics, the old telephone system, I don't even care about that. So let's kind of just give her a start. and the check engine light is off. There we go. The engine sounds a little better. It will get better and better as that oil kind of clears up everything. I do need some windshield washer fluid, but other than that, it's time to clean the car. Ugh, and it's really dirty. Well, other than this right here, I gotta say, I can fix this. The little middle, the middle piece kind of broke, and so you gotta kind of take this apart and find something bigger to hold the screw down right there. It, it's not too involved. But other than this right here, take a look at the interior. Look at this. You don't think Mercedes knows how to build a quality interior? Let me back it up. There it is. Look at this. I bought this for $750 plus auction fees. And look at it, look at the wood. I didn't spend 20 minutes cleaning this and I didn't do a detailed detail at all, okay? The A-pillars always, every ML you get, the previous owner will have tried to glue these and it will kind of come through right there. See the yellow, that happens all the time. You don't really see it when you're in the driver's seat, but you can see it on the other side of the vehicle. But the leather, the interior, the headliner, look at this. I even have, this is the special edition, by the way. So I have special edition floor mats. Here we go. And look at this. Is that not gorgeous? This, I think interior may be nicer than the, M, the uh, ML55 AMG that I got. I mean, there's no, there's no rips, tears, dents, anything in the leather. Okay, I could clean that up a little bit. And this this was just Meguiar's that I used on here, okay? It was a quick little wash down job and I can't believe the results, okay? There was a little bit of a, a residual from a sticker or something right here I was able to get off. The door panels look amazing. There's another one for you. And yes, I am so, 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 
happy, okay? Even, I love the chrome around the instrument cluster right there, around all of the displays. Steering wheels on the uh, MLs always come out looking good. They really, really do. Those last forever. The leather lasts forever. Sometimes the wood is a little discolored, but this is always up. This is what the wood looked like. It was a darker for the special edition. Um, but this always gets hidden here so you can have your cup holders and all that kind of stuff. And so the wood here always fades a little bit. This is the color that you want right there. That's gorgeous. That is beautiful. So we'll back her up, we'll give her a wash, and then the next thing we need to do is find a couple of parts, okay? What we need as we continue working on this is one rear bumper, and I don't think this is salvageable. I'm gonna see if I can find another tailgate and the 744, the brilliant silver. Um, and this piece right here, which should come on the tailgate. I know that there's a vehicle in Oklahoma City, so we'll see if we can find, hopefully it's gonna match. But I, this also has a, tra a tra trailer hitch. Look at that, okay. And it's a 5,000 pound weight carrying ball mount. There you go. All right, this thing will tow almost anything that you want. It'll tow you, won't it? Yes, ma'am. You remember your commands? Yeah, of course you remember. Well, here we go. That's not it. That's the lay down command. No. There you go. Thank you. Good girl. Okay, let's get the car washed.